The Brain Initiative is mostly concerned with developing new technologies, uh, in this particular case technologies for imaging. But one thing that is very special about our project is that it sits right at the cusp at the intersection of imaging technology development with basic neuroscience and with clinical translation. We have just received a comprehensive center grant as part of the CONNECTS program uh, from the National Institutes of Health. So the NIH has uh, invested $150 million over the next five years, um, spread out over um, 11 um, different grants, uh, to image the wiring of the brain at unprecedented resolutions. And um, ours is the biggest grant to image the wiring of the human brain. We are bringing together many innovative technologies that will be used for the first time together to image the wiring of the brain at different resolutions. From the resolution that you get when you get an MRI of your brain, if we went down the hospital, down the street, down to the microscopic resolution, which is something that you can only get in postmortem brains uh, by slicing and dicing the brain and imaging it under a microscope. And on the MRI side, uh, which is of course a big strength of um, the Martino Center, we are going to be using a unique scanner that only exists at the Martino Center and just came online this uh, past summer, and it's called the Connectome 2.0. And it's the strongest scanner in the world to date to image the wiring of the brain in uh, human subjects. In many cases, when a doctor sees an image of the brain, they can see exactly where the problem lies. So there is a stroke right here, or there is a tumor over there. But for many other disorders, uh, particularly psychiatric disorders, the problem does not lie in a specific location in the brain, but how different parts of the brain communicate with each other. And uh, these communications happen through uh, fiber bundles that connect different parts of the brain. So it's important to understand how these connections are organized, how the brain is wired, so that we can then better try to figure out how this uh, wiring is different in different disorders um, and to use that information to better guide uh, therapeutic interventions. One of the things that I'm particularly excited about is that this project brings together teams from eight different institutions. Um, some are um, collaborators that I've had for um, a number of years and others are new collaborations. Um, and another thing that I'm particularly excited about is that this is uh, one of the few grants uh, through the Brain Initiative where all the PIs are female. Um, so this grant is led by myself, uh, Suzanne Haber at the University of Rochester, who is a renowned neuroanatomist, and Elizabeth Hillman at Columbia, who is a magician of microscopy. Certainly this project has benefited from the environment here at the Martino Center, uh, where we are at the intersection of all the excellent um, academic and uh, healthcare institutions um, of the Boston area. And the center in particular is a place where um, clinicians, engineers, physicists, neuroscientists um, come together and exchange ideas, and this uh, very vibrant environment makes uh, exciting projects like this happen.